Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna be tackling a simple environment design, nothing crazy, super simple, let's get into it. So this is what it looks like right here. Side note, if you make this render, feel free to send it to me on Instagram. A lot of you guys have been sending me your work and I'm really enjoying that, so keep that coming and let's get into the design. Okay, so first thing, shift A and let's add a plane, hit S8 and let's scale it up. All right, next thing we're gonna do is model those circles. So we're gonna put in a cylinder and then right here on fill cap, click nothing and then on vertices, give it 50 vertices. And now let's click R, X, 90 and, and let's scale it up to right about there. Let's go to the transform settings right here and on scale on the Z, just bring it in. This is about how, how wide the uh, circles are gonna be in your design. So put it right about there, and then bring it down, and then Control A, we're gonna apply the location, rotation, and scale. And let's continue with the design. So go to your modifiers and add a solidify, bring it to right about there, and then click apply. And so this is what we have here. Now let's add a bevel modifier right about there, bring your width to what looks right about that. So that would be 0 0.01 and then give it five segments. Now right click, give it shade smooth. And then right here on width method, give it width and then limit method, give it angle. And then now we have this smooth design. All right, so now let's take our circle and just bring it all the way up to right about here, bring it back one. And so our camera is basically gonna be centered right here, as you can see, on the design, the tubes go this way. So this is basically the edge of the plane right here. So that's where we wanna center it up. Now let's add an empty and then bring it over to right about here. And then click on our circle and add an array modifier. Uncheck relative offset, click object offset and click the empty. Now click the empty and just bring it back like that. And then we'll go back to the array bring it up let's take our empty drag it down a little bit scale it just a little bit like that and then let's add a couple more duplicates right about there that looks good all right let's add our camera real quick so position your view to where you kind of want it to be so right there and then hit Control alt zero and then click on your camera let's go to the camera settings and right here on focal length let's make our lens a bit wider so that that looks about right so our guy's gonna be standing right around there. The next thing we wanna add is this particle system right here. It's just another cylinder that we put all over the scene. So let's model that real quick. Shift A, let's add a cylinder. Now on fill cap, put it back to in gone and then we'll bring it over here. And then let's go to the transform settings on the scale and bring it up like that. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. Bring it up just like that. All right, let's hit tab and go into edit mode and just give it a couple subdivisions. I'm gonna give it 30 subdivisions. Now let's go back and add a particle system. So right down here, click new, click hair, right here on render, click object, and we're gonna select our cylinder. So you can see they're kind of laying down. I don't know why Blender does that. There's gotta be a good reason, but I don't know it. But we need to flip these to where they look like that. So go back to your particle settings, Right here on object, click object rotation. Now go to the object, go to the transform settings, then a rotation of the Y, give it 90 degrees. Now everything's up like that. All right, so I'm gonna scale it down, make it a bit longer like that. And then we'll go back to the particle settings here on our plane, right here on render, give it some scale randomness on your, on some of your, on your pieces, kind of like that. And as long as they're not too tall, which they are. Bring it right about there. All right, next we have this character. We're not gonna be modeling this character. We're gonna download it from Mixamo. What Mixamo is, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. So what Mixamo is, is a free character and character animation website. You don't have to have an Adobe account. You can just make a Mixamo account here. It's run by Adobe. Everything is free and it's really nice. The character I picked is Ma J. I'm not gonna pronounce that, but I picked that one. So we're gonna use this character and then right here on animations, I just typed in standing. And then I believe I picked the one that says idle. And it looks like it. So this is it. And then you'll press download. And then you're going to want to use an FBX. 
So one of the problems that comes to importing an FBX is when you go to import right down here, it has this right over here, but because of this current beta build and all the past ones, FBXs do not work correctly. So what I always do is I open up Blender 2.79 and what I'll do is I'll import it into there and then I'll append that. So make sure you're in the cycles engine. We're gonna go file, import right here, FBX, and I'm gonna click the guy. So a lot of times a bug I tend to see is in the material when you first import your thing, it's, it's the shading is not there. So what I always do is I'll delete it really quick and I'll hit control Z and then it'll come back. And so now everything's correct. I don't know why that bug is there, but when you import it, have it imported, then immediately delete it and then control Z and bring it back and you should have your shading. So now I'm gonna just save this project. I'm call it guy, save it onto my desktop here. And then now we can open up the 2.8 scene and I'm gonna append, go to my scene where it says guy go to object, armature, and MAW, and append. And then there he is, and everything is working correctly. So we'll bring him over here, scale him down, and just move him around till we like his positioning. Okay, the next thing is our lighting. So I used a sort of pinkish sunset HDRI from HDRI Haven. If you wanna find that, I'm gonna link the HDRI that I used in the description if you want to use a different one, they're all here. Uh, but I use this one called Kiara One Dawn. And this is what's going to give us that nice pink looking light. Okay, so download the HDRI. Over here, click your world settings. If it's not there, you're going to click use nodes. And then right here in the color, click that. Environment texture and navigate to where your HDRI is located. Let's click Z and check out the rendered view. It should be there. I'm going to turn off bloom real quick. So it's there. I want to change the positioning of our HDRI. So I'm going to go up to the shading preset and I'm going to go to the rendered view up here in the node editor or the shader editor. It'll say object, click world. So I'm going to add two nodes, a mapping node and a texture coordinate node on the texture coordinate that generated into the vector and the vector into our image. Now on the rotation here in the Z, you can rotate it till you like what you see. I'm going to rotate the X till we stop seeing those mountains. And I think this, this looks about right. We'll probably change that a little bit later, but for now we have our lighting. I'm going to change the strength of our light to 0.3 and let's continue with the design. So in the design, we have some bumping going on and we have a light in each of these, which adds to the emphasis to right here. So let's do that really quick. Let's add two shaders to these circles here. So let's add one metallic shader and then another emissive shader. We'll give it a strength of 50 and we'll make it kind of purple. Now, now click on your circle, hit tab, go to face select here. Now click alt and click the inside. Sometimes that won't work, but just click a couple times till it gets the inside. Now click the material here, the emissive one, and click assign. So now when we go to rendered view, now we have those lights. All right, now let's make this shader right here. So go back to your shaders, click on the metallic one, and let's go to the shading preset. And let's click out of world back to object. All right, so let's add a bump node real quick. Bump node, plug the normal into the normal, and let's add a noise texture plug the color into the height. So now we have our bumping going on. Let's bring up the detail and bring up the scale a little bit and some of the distortion. Just like that. And let's bring down the strength just a little bit. Now let's add a color ramp right here and plug the noise into the factor of the color ramp and the color into the base color. And let's bring our color ramp in just like that. Just add some color to our piece. All right, let's click on our cylinder over here and let's just add that same material to the cylinders. Let's see how that looks. Cool, now we have a little bit of shading going on with these cylinders. We're gonna have the depth of field so the detail here isn't gonna be a problem. All right, now all we have left is to add a shader on the plane here, add some depth of field, some volume, and one light right here to give some emphasis on our guy. So first, let's click on our plane, go to the shading preset, and let's add that. So. 
Let's click a new shader. Let's leave it non-metallic. Let's add a bump node and a noise texture to that. Right here, right between it, let's add a color ramp, just like that. So let's add the noise into the factor, and into the height. Now we have all this going on. Let's bring up the detail, bring up the scale some, and then now let's just add, let's do that. And let's flip the color ramp. So that looks about right. Now let's add this color ramp into the roughness just like that and now we have something interesting going on here we got some reflection kind of looks like water but not really and then let's add a color ramp up here plug it into the color and let's plug the noise into the factor here and now let's make the white kind of a light purple just like that and then we'll bring the black in and we added a little purple shading here on the floor all right now let's add our volume so let's just get a box here big old cube scale it all the way up and let's add a principled volume to that so click new principled principled volume let's go up to the shading preset again and put on density 0 0.1 and plug the volume into the volume and not the surface so to view it pretty well let's switch to the cycles engine hit Z and rendered and let's see how that looks so it's pretty heavy it's a hefty render but it just adds a little bit of that ambience, really cool effect to this design. So we're gonna leave it there and let's add some depth of field. So I wanna get an empty here. Bring our empty all the way up to our guy here and we're gonna use this as the focus object. So where that dot is right there, that's where it's gonna focus. So I want it right on our guy and let's name it focus. Now let's click on our camera and go over to the camera settings and let's go to depth of field right here focus object click focus we'll give it 20 blades let's switch to the rendered view so we can see what's going on and then let's click the the size here until it starts getting the blur we want right here that's too much it's right about right about there looks nice all right last thing we need to do is add a light right behind this guy so we can kind of see what's going on add a little bit more emphasis to him and then that will be everything for this render. So it's right up there. Let's check the render. And now we have some light going on. And there we go. That's the render. It's super, super noisy, of course. So let's go through the render settings really quick. We're going to give it 1920 by 1080. And in the sampling right here, I'm going to give it 500 samples. And we'll turn on denoising. And that should do it. Uh, maybe a thousand samples if it's still noisy on your render. So there you go. That's the render. I hope you learned something. I hope you had fun. Again, if you make it, send it to me on Instagram, and I'd love to see all your work. So yeah, thanks for watching.